Hey Leo, welcome into your reading. We're reading for the first week of February going into the second. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome in, welcome in. Um, I don't usually timestamp, guys, because time and energy is definitely fluid. So some of you could be going, some of you Leo could be going through this last week, currently, or next week. You're all different, so please bear that in mind. Uh, also, if you are new to my channel and you do like the content, I ask that you help out this baby channel <laughs> uh, and hit that uh, subscribe and like buttons down below. And also, I didn't really think this was really that important, but apparently it is, uh, hitting that notification button, the little bell to tell you when the video is here. Otherwise, YouTube is just not going to throw me in their algorithms and you'll see my video in a week <laughs> from the day I posted it. And who gives a shit in a week? In a week, your energies have shifted and changed by then. It's like a whole other reading. So there's that. All right, let me pull one more card, guys, and then we can begin your read for the week. I do remember your reading from last week. It was very, very powerful. I know it was very, very hard, but in general, you guys should know that this is um, Universal Year 6. This is the year of marriages and divorces. And February is um, a big month for the whole entire collective, not just your sign, everybody, because we're all... Um, recycling out toxic relationships relationships from the past because spirit wanted to prepare us for an upgrade which we're all due for some of you already got the upgrade but you haven't acknowledged it yet so let's see i digress the your overall message for the week is going to be the knight of pentacles so slow and steady is going to win the race for you guys all right knight of pentacles is talking about something coming in but just slowly whether this is a person or money um, let me just mute this really quick. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, my phone wants to blow up right now. Later, friends. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Pentacles. That's so funny. And right behind this chariot where, where it's like heavy energy, fast energy. And then all of a sudden, it's like putting on the brakes. It's like... So, oh, my God. From a relationship? From a couple? You see what else is going on here? Page of Swords... I don't know what's going on with you guys, but I swear to God, like, I must have done your video five times. A thousand interruptions. It's like I couldn't get your reading out. I felt like this blocked energy. I feel like that's what's happening to you. You guys are constantly getting blocked. Interference keeps running into you. It's so bizarre. What? All right, so in the recent past, it looked like you got some kind of new love offer. All right here it is something solid uh, for new love it's like let, let's just date let's do this thing you know but somebody here was very defensive or very like obstructionist was resisting this situation it could be you it could be then be, I feel like maybe it was you only because you were trying to use your rationale in the whole situation in this dynamic you were like going with your head over your heart to think about what was right what was wise then the message came through hey what's up from possibly an Aries or somebody that's older than you. Somebody, it could even be the father of your children. Don't know. This could have been somebody you were married to. Don't know. But this person is coming in with heavy energy of commitment here with the Ten of Pentacles. This can also be money situations. could be creating um, a business with an emperor there where it makes you both very happy. But this commitment with this person makes you both happy whether it's relationship or work. All right, but it looks to me like it's, yeah, it's either a business partnership or a love ship. Page of Swords. This person has their eye on you for a while. For a while, Leo, for a while. And there you are, coupling up with this person or a business partnership. You started moving forward with the bus of your life. You're like, I got this bitch. Let's move it. And you took charge of your life. You remained focused regardless of the positive and the negative. You started charging ahead, Leo. But then all of a sudden, you halted. Not completely. You just were, you were driving fast and all of a sudden you were like, oh, let's slow it down, let's slow it down, let's slow it down because you started pulling back the reins of your life, of your situation, or the dynamic that you're in. So let's see why this is the overall message of the week. In your situation, I have six of cups. You're probably reflecting on someone or something from your past. What's coming towards you? The Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn Virgo Taurus, Temperance, Sagittarius. 
what's coming towards you is this person that's nurturing, loving, caring, or at least that's how you perceive them to be. And divine timing is at play. Patience, healing, healing from this person. Leo, I feel like this is more or less you. Like you're the one that's nurturing, loving, and caring. The one that's stable in this situation. You might be dealing with an earth sign. And divine timing. I want to know why. I can't wait to clarify that. That makes me curious. Uh, what you don't see coming, the absolute surprise, is the Four of Cups. I hate this card. <laughs> it is what it is. It tells you facts. Four of Cups talks about some kind of blessing in disguise that you might be ignoring. Um, you see that? This little angel's trying to give it to you, and you're like, it friggin' stinks. Get that shit out of my face. You're apathetic to it, whoever or whatever this is. But you're stuck in your head. Now you're, now you're all like in this crazy mental jail, and you're like, how do I get myself out of this? Um, because you don't have all the facts. You don't have all the answers. In fact, maybe you're holding some secrets back, or somebody is holding some secrets back. For me, this is also when spirit tells me, look, we're dealing with somebody in their external environment and that person has their free will and they got people in their environment so it falls like a domino depending on what their free will choice is do we know what this person is going to say and do towards leo if that makes some sense to you guys uh but because you don't know because you don't have all the facts you're pretty like either sad or you're just really apathetic to the situation you're not happy you're just not happy all right. Um, and, you know, maybe somebody is taking their time here with this uh, overall message with this Knight of Pentacles. Because what I'm seeing, temperance here in the Knight of Pentacles, this is slowing everything down for you. And it's probably for a reason why everything is slowing down. Um, in your advice... I have the magician keep manifesting whatever it is that you're trying to do whether this is a relationship or a job you have all the tools in your arsenal to make it happen you have all the skills necessary to make it be leo seriously i i say this to aries too i feel like you two are the signs that are like my aries and leo friends seriously i never heard one of them not do what they said they wanted They'd be like, you know what, I want a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Literally, they go out a few dates or like a few hangouts. A month later, they're with somebody. I'm like, <laughs> Leo, same thing. Leo's like, yeah, I'm doing this work thing. And what, one work thing falls apart, and then the next one just falls in their lap. And it manifests. I was, I'm like, how do you people do that? And that's kind of like what they're saying here. Spirit's like, you're gifted. You're talented. You got all the shit that you need. Skills, charm, looks, the gift of gab. You got it all going on, Leo. You can manifest anything you want. And they're like, do that. Um, the hermit, just use your internal wisdom because you've led a long life. And through your life, you picked up a thing or two. You're not only picking up the skills from your own personal experiences. It's the experiences of others, too. Like your friends and family, people who have told you about their tribes and tribulations and the shit that they went through. It's a learning lesson for you also. Don't think you haven't collected that in your mind. You have. Strength. You have three major arcanas in your advice. This is seriously, like, your last two weeks have been all your angels descending upon you right now trying to guide you for some reason because I feel like you're on the brink of something big here. Um, they're telling you to be you, the strength card. Have strength to make the right judgment call because you have all the skills and the tools necessary to manifest your perfect world, Leo. All right, now in your outcome, I have the King of Wands and the Two of Swords. You might be debating between someone and a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this could just be you coming into your power, trying to make a decision, but you're it's a little tough because you're choosing between two things and because you don't have all the facts, you don't know because you're blindfolded. And you also have the moon here, which tells me you really are confused because you just don't know. You don't know which one's the right judgment call here. Um, and again, you could be dealing with the fire sign. Maybe you have a fire and an earth here. I don't know. It could be anything. There's Virgo here. There's Pisces here. Who else is here? Leo, like yourself. Magician, Taurus. All right, whatever. It doesn't have to be. Those are the energies. Um, let's see why your Six of Cups is your situation for the week. Because you're obviously dealing with something from your past. Why is this for Leo the Six of Cups, please? Six of 
Six of Clubs, Six of Clubs, Six of Cups is clarified by the Six of Wands. So you know how much I hate the fives? Like a lot. Um, but those are the challenges blocks in your life. The sixes is next. So you have really overcome the worst of it, Leo, because now you're in the land of six. So you're overcoming the difficult fives. And why did the fives happen to you? Because you have the Wheel of Fortune here. This to me is the most powerful card in the deck and it's clarifying with the Six of Cups. This is telling me luck is not only on your side, but you have three fates working on your behalf to weave the web of your life to go into the right direction because the universe always wants us to go into the world of evolution, of our own personal evolution. They don't want, they don't want us our own personal destruction. They want our own personal evolution. They want us to grow. They want us to be better than what we are and what we have because sometimes as human beings, we're not capable of understanding what we really do deserve. All right? So over here with the Six of Cups, you, you are successfully overcoming something from your past. And because of that, Spirit is bringing you some big changes. I told you they were prepping you. Whatever shit you went through in 2021, they're prepping you for a massive upgrade. Massive. With success and recognition whether this is a relationship or a job thing. Yeah, because there was a poor judgment call in the past. For sure. So let's see. Let's see what time patience was needed and divine timing and the queen of pentacles. And let's see. What is this all about? One more shuffle. Wise Temperance here and Queen of Pentacles. Guys, leave me your comments down below. I, I In the last video you did, and now I feel like even more connected to you guys. So the more you leave me your comments, the more I connect with you. Plus, I know I'm going in the right direction. I'm not some crazy person. I'm just kidding. I've been working too much in my, in my own space. I need to get out more. All right, the Queen of Pentacles is clarified by Temperance, which is the King of Cups, yeah, and the Stars. Aquarius, it doesn't have to be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is here. Look, look, this is why divine timing was at play, because King and Queens are meant to be together. Why are King and Queens meant to be together? Because you understand one another. You're on the same frequency. You're on the same level. A King is not going to fucking date a page, okay? They're just not. It's a king and queen are at the same frequency, at the same level. One of you is very loving, caring, emotionally stable and available. The other one is grounded. It's like one is the balloon and the other person is the string. You get it? That's how you're a set. But this is like a good, well-rounded relationship situation that you're in. This is restoring healing, balance, being optimistic, being happy, being positive, going towards your true north. And this is what spirit is telling you. Be patient. This person is slowly coming in. This is why this is your overall message of the week. And the more cards I drop, the more the story unfolds for me. The Hermit, Virgo card, King of Wands. Ne needing to make an internal decision here uh, based off of your wisdom. W your wisdom is not just being in your head uh, about what is the right choice. Wisdom is, is a little mixture of that and your intuition. And being enlightened. Enlightened by the things that you've seen and done in your life. Like you're aware now as adults, you, you can discern why, by using your own personal um, enlightenment. That's why the hermit, he always holds a lantern on his path to guide him because all he can see is the light before him because everything else around him is dark. What does that mean when we use symbology like this? It means your whole world outside is dark. You don't have all the answers. All you know is the thing that's right in front of you and your intuition. And your mind and you combine the two to beam and use that light in order to guide you properly all right let's see what's going on here why did we have the four of cups the eight of, eight of swords and the moon this is going to be important this i was curious myself to see what the hell this was all about because you are dealing with somebody here where you can have mutual happiness with this person it's somebody you've been waiting for honestly here's the temperance card again all right Look, you've been trying to manifest a person probably and you've been waiting for them. This is why you have the magician in your advice. You have the magician and the three of wands waiting for someone or something, right? 
Page of Cups. Maybe you sent out a message or maybe somebody sent you a message with this Page of Cups. Yo, Lion, what's up? Hi, how are you? But that's it. It's a page. They didn't ask you out. They didn't apologize. They didn't do anything like affirmative with their feelings. They only contacted with this Page of Wands, uh, Cups, sorry. And now it's like they're, they're trying to manifest you in their life, waiting for possibly your response. This could be also you having done this because you both make each other happy. All right. But something in this dynamic is not making you happy. You needed to wait. You needed to have patience for this person because there was some shit that they needed to do. I, I suspect. Listen, for those of you that are members in the extended, I'm going to do a little bit of a deeper dive with this eight of swords and see how I can help you get unstuck or let's get a deeper dive into see why this is here. All right. Because right now, all I see is what you're doing or what the other person is doing. I see that you're both happy with each other. I see somebody sent out a text message trying to manifest um, something to happen between the two of you. And now they're waiting for the results of that. And maybe that's what they did to you, Leo. And now you're stuck because of it. And because you don't know what to do, you don't have all the facts, that's what's making you not so happy. Like, now I can see it. Now I can see it. Someone all of a sudden is showing you their love. They couldn't do it before, but now they're doing it. Somebody you had an ending with. Mm -hmm. Ain't that some shit? I hate that. It's like, there you go. Finally, you make decisions in your life. You move on. <laughs> and it's a high past. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, let's see this for, for Leo's advice. I'm taking this out just so I don't forget it. For those of you that are members, the link is down below. Um, it, that The extended is only for members. Membership is worth it. You don't only have access to this. You have access for the whole entire month, plus every other Zodiac sign. You have access to everything. It's worth it. I would do it for one month, and you have it for the month, and you can just cancel it. Even if you cancel right away, you still have access for the month. I didn't know that. Somebody told me that the other day. I was like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> all right, so in your advice, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the, all right. Oh my God, I love this. Oh my God, I love this. All right, so there. this is what they're saying. Okay, you need to right now manifest what you want for your life because you can shape it as you see fit right now. And spirit is wanting to help you. They want to they wanna work with you in making that happen, all right? They know that you're wise enough to make these decisions and they're like, do it. Just have the strength to do it. Now, you want to know why strength is actually here? And this is why I have chills now? Because you have the Empress in reverse. You know what the Empress in reverse is saying? It's not about your uh, intuition or your practicality. It's about you being bold. It's about you making moves. It's about you voicing your feelings, your opinions, let it come out of your mouth. All right. It's kind of like me when I do my videos, right? Sometimes I curse. I know I should. And that's because I get passionate over my audience because I love you guys and I want to help you. And I guess I'm trying to drive a statement home. So I let it out. I, I voice it. I, I don't hold back. I don't hold anything back. And this is what spirit is telling me to tell you, you hold zero back. You let it rip Leo. Let it fucking rip because that is how you're going to manifest this future of yours. How you feel, what you want, what you're doing, why you are, where you are. Who gives a shit? Voice your feelings. Let it out. Let it rip. Voice it. Let it come out. And it's funny because I th this book, look how big this book is. I love this book. Holistic Tarot talks about the symbolism in cards and how we use Tarot to help work on our psyche and blah, blah, blah. I literally just got done reading the, like going into a deep dive about the high priestess in reverse. Literally was the last thing I did right before I did your video. And it creeps me out that it would come out in your advice position. So it was probably meant to be for me to study that for you. And that's probably why all your readings in the recent past were going to shit and I couldn't upload them because I think this was the most important thing I needed to tell you guys, let it rip. You need to not be scared, not to voice your feelings, your thoughts. E even if you're thinking about doing something business-wise, let it go. If you're scared what the other person's going to say or do by your actions or the things you're going to say, don't. Because it, that's what's going to block you from manifesting your future. Because we are talking about your independence, your financial independence, and you as a person independently. Who you are as you stand alone as the Leo, as the lion of the fucking jungle. Okay? 
Now let's go ahead and clarify your outcome over here with this King of Wands and the Two of Swords. Welcome to Opus Enlightenment. This is what we do. We deconstruct. We take things apart about because what we because we talk about the human construct all the time. And it's talking, taking about taking it away and to look and peek inside for true enlightenment. Because this is how you work on your spirituality. Spirituality is a tool. It's unlike religion where you know you pray, oh my God, somebody, you know. I pray to God I have food on my plate tomorrow. Spirituality teaches you how to go fucking fish. And you feed yourself. It's the same thing with, with your responsibilities. Same thing with your career. Same thing with your, your relationships. You, you are doing this for you. This is why you're here. This is why you're listening. Because you're already enlightened. This is like half the battle. Alright. Two of swords. King of wands. Oh, beautiful. Eight of Swords in reverse. You get yourself out of mental jail. You get yourself unstuck, guys. And look at this. That's because you guys are fucking amazing ass bitches. Look at you. Strength. Eight of Swords in reverse. This is you. This is why the Strength card is represented by Leos. Because only you friggin' guys have the perseverance to manifest this courage to make bold moves. And you do. And you clear a path for yourselves. And you do this. You muster your strength to clear a path to get yourselves unstuck. You find the solution. You king up. You you become you. You find your own power. Look at this person. He celebrates like, yeah, <laughs> this is him. Because you realize it's you. It's you winning inside. This is you standing in your own power, Leo. Because this is the Leo card. Because there you are. This is why you're torn. You don't want to be here. You don't want to live in the land of trying to make a decision. And you won't. Not for long. You get clever. You might have to sneak away from someone or something. You might need to get sneaky and stealthy. This isn't a necessarily a bad thing. This is because you're trying to start a new chapter in your life. This is you making stealthy moves. Because you're trying to be cunning. Maybe you don't... When would you want to use this kind of principle? In, in a way where you don't want to hurt somebody else. Or where you want everybody to be happy involved. Or where you don't get hurt in the process. You need to think of like a stealthy move and like weave and web your way to an ultimate decision. Where it's something you can live with that everybody else can live with. It's just an example. But it's just saying this is what you need to do. You're going to be developing some crafty way of getting yourself out of this situation. Especially when I have eight of swords and the seven of swords. It's you. It's you getting crafty. It's you getting clever. All right, so let's pull some cards from your Oracle messages. Guys, I always recommend you stay for these because I know other tarot readers, they just read them off. For me, this is this is when your, your spirit guides speak to you directly because this is their direct advice. Those of you that are members in the extended, I clarify this with tarot so I get more nuanced details on how to go ahead and do what you need to do here with these cards. But it also tells me, it gives me more of a heads up also what's going on in your relationships as a fact. So let's see what's going to say here. Same with the Moonology deck. I love it. it. It wraps everything up in a bow for me. Religious factors. Some of you could be dealing with somebody where you have a cultural background, religious background, ethnic background. Can be age difference. Can be academic. It can be economic. I don't really care. There's a fundamental difference between you two. And it could be an issue for somebody in this situation. I will clarify that with Tarot. Romantic feelings. But you know this person that you're dealing with, you have feelings for each other. All right? Honeymoon. But I saw it in the reverse. This means that you guys are out of the honeymoon stage. You've been seeing somebody, maybe this new person that you've been dating for some of you, and you're coming out of that honeymoon phase. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll clarify these two with Tarot. Let's get one message from Moonology, and then we're going to move it on. Actually, I'm going to pull one card from here. Uh, from spiritual as fuck deck it's a little vulgar sometimes they are i don't know i don't i don't know i'm going to pull out because there's hundreds of these cards and they usually do align with your reading if you don't want to listen to it, it's fine click off but stick for this for a sec stick with me on this one because these are good advice too all right uh interesting some of you could be dealing with an aries it's time to take action that's your advice also look at this it's time to take action and you will because it's such a fire sign move to do you will you're going to get clever you're going to get crafty and you're going to come up with a solution at the bottom of the deck uh the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and capricorn you could be dealing with an aries and a capricorn 
clarify those two. Uh, last but not least, I'm going to pull one card here and see how it applies to Leo. What does this say to you guys? Sometimes crushing it means asking for help. Oh, that's interesting. Only fools or suckers think they can do it all on their own. Ask for help. Then take the help. Let other help. Let other people be a part of your success. Don't be stingy about letting people share whatever kickassery you create. Every real baller has a crew. Also, you don't know everything. That's just a fact. <laughs> so maybe you can go out with friends and ask them for help in making a decision that you need here. All right, guys, this is what I have for you, my beautiful lions. I will see you next week.